people my name is astromite and welcome to another tutorial today we are going to be cracking wps pins for this we are going to have to use sudo to application get and install reaver this is already installed inside kyolytics but uh, another error that people commonly get is that this file is not installed so you see here, it's already installed for me. We have two positives here. In case this is not already inside your kind of Linux, which it should be. Now that we have that, we can use arrow down. Or no, I know. We can use Airman. To kill any unwanted processes that may interfere by intervening our processes. So DS client up gets up against network managers and daemon clients. Now we will have to enable our monitor mode after you've done this. By this you will have to turn down your wireless adapter into it off state. I recommend. Nope, that's not what I wanted. I have copy, but yeah, shut it down. And if you did type in this command and it shows nothing, that's mean you have not run a Rust adapter, which I do recommend get. It is needed. A at the most AR9271 2.4 JHZ USB Wi Fi wireless adapter from Z Security is recommended. $20 looks awesome, works great, doesn't overheat, and it is plug and play. It is recommended. Although you get whatever one you want, even a Trident if you are that advanced and you want to be an efficient penetration tester. So now that we have this, we can change our wireless uh, adapters mode now that it's off. Use IW config. Let's put it back up so it actually takes effect. You have to turn it down to make any changes, turn it back up to apply those changes. So once it's up here, we're going to use wash. Now we all go do reconnaissance with arrow dump, like I mentioned before when I was typing earlier, and also wash. So just define whatever wireless adapter or wireless card that you have you don't need a adapter you have a wireless card and here you'll be scanning the network depending on your wireless card or wireless adapter your wireless network name you'll be able to do some nice reconnaissance here and you'll be able to find your targets now this doesn't give us latency this only gives us the wps the lock the vendor the acid the dbm and the channel we want to use arrow dump And here it will give us the latency to understand more about the targets we are attacking, we are cracking here. As you see here, the encryption, the cipher, the auth, the ESC's ID, the data, the latency, the beacons, the, and the uh, BSS ID. It has half extra more of the wash scanning, which is recommended. What do we kill? or attack, I should say, a nearby victim. Once you have this, once you have your scan, we're going to use Reaver, that we just installed here. Then we're going to be defining our wireless network that we have here. By using dash B of the putty and the BSS ID that you have scanned for here. So as you see here, I'll choose this victim. And then once you have that, we are going to be naming or defining our wireless adapter. That was what I was putting first because I got to confuse the wash. It doesn't matter to be honest, but I like it 
in chronological order so it makes more sense i don't like to use the dash p dash p i, I like to use the dash dash and then defining so just appending so i can get a better grip and so you know it's more legible for you guys too so once you have that we are going to be defining our channel here and i'll tell you right here something that wasn't included in our watch scan but it is important because maybe just be open so it's pretty useless if you're cracking wps pins if they're open but if they're lck they're locked so then it's all right then we want to obviously get the command here Be rid of speed. Okay. So all that is together. So as you can see here, we are going to be trying to cracking this uh pin here. Sending and then the request, sending and then the response here. Service we have failed. Trying the pin. Now you can modify this. You can modify this. So if you do very very dash i, then enable wireless network, which would be the one zero for me. And then you would dash b, and then define the bs's id dash c. But we're also going to be adding what what uh mount that we want. So we're creating the WSP's pin, yeah. And when you do end this. Uh, it has nothing to save here, but when you when you, when you do end this, you can also just add. Let's say here you want to add this right here. So two times every three seconds. Because if you do do re repeatedly, it will lock you out. But it is only numbers. It is only numbers. Now it probably locked out me before, since as you see up here, that is incredibly fast. So it locked me out here. So it's not giving anything to save. But once you come back. If you try again, you probably, I, you will crack it in about two, three weeks. You, you let's say you sit on the porch and you crack it. You sit on the porch. You know, watch my videos. Do a uh, layoff. You know, drink some water. Have have a salad. Have some stew. Sit there and watch as you crack. You left out there, and then when you're done, you're gonna save it. And this thing is trying to pin here. And we're gonna be authentication here. Two the three inch amount. Some routers will even have their pins to be defaulted and be configured, or they could be, for instance, the first MAC address. They could, they could be used by their MAC address, or maybe the last, in the middle, or maybe it's where they are, where they're located, and you can use this to define more, to be have more precise attack, you know? So that is recommended, but that is all we have today, guys. We guys enjoyed if you have any questions anything confused about when one or why or how or have any errors then i will happily solve them and respond to you until then i will see you in the next